What up all my fight fans? We got ourselves a fight night this Saturday night. We got ourselves Javante Tank Davis versus Hector Luis Garcia. And um, before I get into the fight, we already know that Javante has been having a lot of e legal issues um, these past couple of years. Recently, he's been involved in some kind of domestic dispute regarding him and another woman. Um, there seemed to be some kind of altercation. I'm not 100% sure the details regarding that, but it was broken not that long ago. Um, so that's very unfortunate. We just saw a video and we just saw what's going on with Dana White. And it's very unfortunate, you know, what's going on down that road. We already know. And all of us men should know that we never put our hands on a woman regardless of the circumstances. So hopefully that gets figured out big time because, yeah, it's just very unfortunate to see so many men going down this path again. And we just don't want it to happen um, anymore. And then, of course, we know he also has some other legal issues regarding um, him and a possible hit and run um, sometime last year, I think it was, or um, maybe even previous year. Not 100% sure of the details regarding that, but I know he's um, due to go to court sometime in March for it. So, yeah, there's quite some legal issues regarding Javante Davis, and hopefully he gets this all figured out because the guy's extremely talented. He's extremely gifted in the ring. But, yeah, we just hope to see that he does get things figured out because, again, um, you shouldn't be hitting no woman. It doesn't matter what the circumstances are. You shouldn't be putting your hands on any kind, of, any woman regardless of, um, regardless of the actions and uh, the circumstances, like I just said. And as far as the um, hit and run, again, I don't know too much details with th with all that. I do believe it is um, public uh, information, so you can read up on that. So, yeah, I mean, him heading into this fight, I know he is scheduled for a big fight come April uh, with Ryan Garcia, but I believe this one's supposed to be a tune-up. Um, but this Hector Garcia guy is a tough guy. He's a very tough fighter. He has 10 fights by knockout. He is not um, relatively known. Um, he hasn't fought really relatively known, uh, anybody that is established at the moment, you know, he is still under, he is basically making his debut, or I guess you could say he's been making his way up the rankings, like you could say. Um, and I do believe he was fighting at super featherweight and featherweight. So I do believe he's coming up, um, and wait for this one. So this one, you know, it's. It should be an interesting fight. It should be an action fight. You know, you already know Javante Tank Davis has the power, has the um, the speed to pretty much put a lot of people's lights out. He's already, you know, done so in the upper weight classes, like at 140. And he's even talked about going up to 147 as well. Um, but, you know, it's it's always risky taking uh, tuna fights. We were, I, the most notable tuna fight I remember, um, things still fell into fruition, but... The tuna fight that I remember most was uh, Felix Stern versus Oscar De La Hoya. You know, they wanted Oscar De La Hoya going against Bernard Hopkins for the middleweight title. And then Oscar De La Hoya just looked so crappy and he looked so out of shape. He should have lost that fight. Also, another tuna fights were like um, the Victor Ortiz and Miguel Cotto fights. Um, Miguel Cotto was supposed to face um, both Victor Ortiz and Miguel Cotto were supposed to face Canelo Alvarez. But they both lost their tuna fights. Canelo lost against Austin Trout, and Victor Ortiz lost against Josito Lopez, which Josito Lopez later on went and faced Canelo. So, and, you know, it's always possible, and it's always possible, because look at even, that's even a better one example right there, Josito Lopez. We already know who Victor Ortiz was. Josito Lopez was, again, relatively unknown, but he ended up getting that shot. He ended up connecting really good with Victor Ortiz. He got that win, and he got that big payday against Canelo Alvarez, and that's something that could possibly happen with um, Hector. Um... That's something that, you know, you can never rule that out. Everyone has that puncher's chance. It is real. It doesn't matter how good you are. Even if you're going against Floyd Mayweather or Manny Pacquiao, you still have that puncher's chance to where you could just land that one lucky shot, that one great, really good timing shot, and put that guy's lot. So it's possible. Um, but on paper, Javante Davis should pretty much um, eliminate this guy with ease. No, no disrespect to his opponent, but I just believe that Javante Davis is just on a different level than his opponent is. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't see it happening. I really don't. I really don't see um, Javante Davis losing this fight. More importantly, but you know what? More importantly, I, like I was just going to say that, you know, he is going to this fight with a lot on his mind. He has his case coming up in March. He has this whole domestic dispute regarding this another uh, woman that he's um, 
this whole female that he had altercation with so yeah you know you never know you never know what kind of mindset you go in there you never know what kind of mindset Durante might go in there with so he might not be 100 percent focused and he might not be 100 percent ready to to really really um take this fight on so you never know but again on paper it should be a very exciting fight you know you got um Javante who pretty much is burning knocking everyone out and is always in exciting fights you got his opponent who his last fights um his uh record does show he has 10 knockouts he is 16 and 0 um so he is undefeated so yeah it will definitely be undefeated versus undefeated so it should be a very fun fight guys so definitely tune in saturday it should be a great fight night let me know who you think is gonna win let me know who you think who whoever you think is gonna win how they're gonna win let me know in the comments guys like subscribe hit that notification button guys and i'll see you guys in the next video